the preparation or the initialization symbol. Hexagon shape is used to represent the initialization symbol. Variables inside the initialization symbol holds the value of the first number in the given problem. For example, int n is equal to 1 or int r is equal to 1. Initialization symbol always comes with a partner decision symbol. And the value that is written on the decision symbol comes from the last value of the problem plus the pattern. For example, a program will automatically display all even numbers from 1 to 100. First, let's analyze the problem. The outputs are all even numbers. Then, the first value is number 2 because 1 is an odd number. And the last value is 100. The outputs are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 or all even numbers from 1 to 100. Based on the pattern, you can get the next value by adding 2 from the previous value. Example, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, and so on. Let's start writing the flowchart of this problem. Initialization symbol always appears at the first part of the sequence. In this given example, I use n as the variable name of a number. Next, we will write print n because we want to display the value of the variable n. After that, we will write the pattern that we got from the given problem. In this given example, the pattern is plus 2. After that, a decision symbol will display. It will decide whether the program will continue or not. A decision symbol always has two destinations, a yes and a no. Once the condition is already achieved, the flowchart will end. If not, you have to put an entry on page connector. Then, write the exit on page connector and connect it to the flow lines leading to print end to repeat the process. So let's see how this flowchart works. Start. Next, initialization symbol. In n is equal to 2. The value of n is 2. Then, print n or print the value of the variable n. In this part of the program, the output is 2. Continue the flowchart. Now we are on the process symbol int n is equal to n plus 2. The previous value of n is 2. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. That's why the new value of our n is 4. Now that we are on the decision symbol, this symbol will decide whether the program will continue or not. The condition written inside is n equals 102. The value of our n is 4. n equals 102 or 4 equals 102. The answer is no. That is why the flowchart will go to the no direction. The no direction is leading to the J on page connector. That is why the program will enter and exit on the J on page connector. The J exit on page connector will lead us to the symbol print n. That is why the program will print the value of n or number 4. After that, the process will repeat again. The value of our letter n is 4. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. That is why the new value of our n is 6. And is equal to 102 or 6 is equal to 102? The answer is no. The program again will enter and exit the J on page connector. 
and repeat the process. So let's assume that we are already in n is equal to 98. Print for the value of n or print 98. Continue with the process, n plus 2 or 98 plus 2 is equal to 100. 100 is the new value of n. 100 equals 102. Still, the answer is no, so we will go to the no direction. Enter and exit on the J on page connector. Print for the value of n, which is 100. Process n is equal to n plus 2. 100 plus 2 is equal to 102. The new value of our n is 102. Decision symbol, 102 is equal to 102. The answer is yes. That is why we will go to the yes direction. Then, the flowchart is already finished and will not print 102 or the new value of n. Let's proceed to the second example. A program that will count down from 10 to 1 and will display Happy New Year. The outputs are numbers 10 to 1 and Happy New Year. The first value is 10 because the program will count down from 10 to 1. Well, the last value is 1. The pattern in this given example is previous value minus 1 equals next value. For example, 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. 9 minus 1 is equal to 8, and so on. A program that will count down from 10 to 1 and will display Happy New Year. First, write the start symbol. Next, write the first value inside the initialization symbol. Then, print the value of that variable. After that, Write the pattern inside the process symbol, int n is equal to n minus 1. After that, write the decision symbol, and inside the decision symbol, we will write the value that we got by adding the pattern into the last value of the program. Then, the decision symbol will decide if the flowchart will go to the yes or the no direction. The J entry on page connector, then the J exit on page connector, and once the condition is already achieved, the program will print Happy New Year and end the program. Let's see how this flowchart works. Start in N is equal to 10, the value of our N is 10. Print n. The first output of this program is 10. Then continue with the process. In n is equal to n minus 1. The previous value of our n is 10. 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. That is why the new value of our n is 9. Then go to the decision symbol. n is equal to 0 or 9 is equal to 0? The answer is no. That is why we will go to the no direction. The program will enter and exit to the J on page connector. Then print for the value of n, which is number 9. Fast forward this time. Let's assume that we are already got 1 as the value of n. Print n or print number 1. Then process, int n is equal to n minus 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. The new value of our n is 0. Decision symbol, n is equal to 0, or 0 equals 0. The answer is yes, so we will go to the yes direction. The program will print the word Happy New Year. Then the program is already finished. For our third example, 
a program that will display all numbers that are divisible by 5 between 5 to 50. The outputs are all numbers that are divisible by 5 between 5 and 50. The first value of this problem is 10. 5 is not included because according to the problem, we will use numbers between 5 and 50. Then, the last value is 45. The pattern in this example is previous value plus 5 is equal to the next value. A program that will display all numbers that are divisible by 5 between 5 and 50. First, we will write the start symbol. Inside the initialization symbol, write the first value of the problem, int n is equal to 10. Then print the value of that variable. After that, write the pattern inside the process symbol, int n equals n plus 5. And write the decision symbol and the value that we got by adding the last value and the pattern, the no direction, the entry on page connector, the exit on page connector, then the yes direction, then lastly, the end symbol. Okay, let's try to run the flowchart. Start. Int n is equal to 10. The value of n is 10. Print n or the output is 10. Then go to the process symbol. Int n is equal to n plus 5. The previous value is 10 plus 5. The new value of n is 15. n equals 50 or 15 equals 50. The answer is no, so we will go to the no direction. Enter and exit to the J on page connector. Print for the value of N, which is 15. Continue with the process symbol. In N is equal to N plus 5. 15 plus 5 is equal to 20. The new value of N is 20. Let's assume that we already got 45 as the value of n. n equals 50 or 45 equals 50. The answer is still no, so we will go to the no direction. Enter and exit to the J on page connector. Print for the value of n which is 45. Int n is equal to n plus 5 or 45 plus 5 is equal to 50. The new value of n is 50. n equals 50 or 50 equals 50. The answer is yes, so we will go to the yes direction. Then the flowchart is already finished. That's all for today. Hope you learned something. Goodbye and thank you.